Yeah, Marina, everybody, there's Parliament grounds on the Saturday the 8th. Uh, just setting up for the Hikoi. Uh, here's old Jim, good old Jim. Just starting to put these signs up. All around the fences here. It's early yet. Uh, then we've got to head down to the old Inter Islander. And there's a heap of signs over the far side there for when they, people come in the gate and they can pick up and they can show them to all the peoples around the world. So Band 1080. Good work there, Jim. Here we have the end of the heat coil, or the beginning of it, down at the uh, Rail Ferry End. The uh, getting all ready to march into Parliament. Bloody good turnout. Good to, good to see them all here. That's plenty of signage. Awesome turnout. Awesome turnout. Bloody marvellous. Good on you, mate. Yeah, we'll have a look at some of the signage while well, we've got a chance. Some of the good, lovely, beautiful signs there. Good on you. Carry on walking on through the crowd here. There's a man hiding behind the bushes, thinks he's a possum. There's no uh, birds in my bush. No, no birds in no, his bush, he's Have we got to really here? Hey. <laughs> Neville. Shut you up? Yeah, it would shut me up too. Good one. Cheers. Yeah, these boys, well, where, where, where are you fellas from? Levin. Levin, these guys are from Levin. Good on yous. How are you, mate? Good to see you. I've seen you somewhere before. I don't know where, though. I'm Murchison, one of the South Island crew that's come along. Isn't a good sign over there? It, it, it caught Jim Hilton in the act of actually literally chatting up birds. <laughs> chatting up birds. <laughs> hey, look at this. Hey, these girls did first prize. Hey? They did first prize. Until we find them up in the some effort. Bloody good effort going into that. Hold it up so we can have a look. Bloody marvellous, yes. Yeah, show that to Doc. Stuff you buggers, Doc. Lovely work. He'll be at one. Morning, Mr. Good. Let's take a hate. Don't ever apologise, though. Last night. I'm not sure where they stayed, but as I say, the support crew here, so hopefully, the wheel won't be far away. Okay, so at 11 o'clock, we'll settle up and head for Woolshed Castle. Yeah, just wait until 11 o'clock for some more to catch up, and then we're off to the bloody. Bitches box at the beehive.
and the beginning of the march from the ferry to the old bloody bitches box up at Parliament begins. Hey Joe, where's your sign, Joe? Where's your sign? Pretty marvellous. Good work, guys. Very good on you. Good to see the effort going in. All oh, good, yeah. Band 1080. Good on you. Good to see all your good work. That's all I like. Good attitude. Jesus, what's it going to say to your bullshit? Oh, it is, mate. It is. Yeah, no, it's not anti abortion march. It's a Band 1080 march. So, yeah, no, she's all good. I must have lost. Good on you, mate. Hey, I can do parts better than that one. It's all good, yeah, Band 1080. Yes, it's not an anti-abortion march, so good on you. Great effort. Yeah, I forgot them here, and there's heaps up at Parliament at the rail railway station. They'll, they'll wait to join the Hikoi as well. Good on you, swellers. Good, good work. Yeah, ours of them here, there. Back at 1080. I've used stronger language, but we're family here, so all good. Good on you. Great to see. Old Shane Wilson dragging up the rear from Southland, the good old possum trapper, mate. Good stuff. Good effort to get here, too. Stop, man. Here we go. Good on yous, mate. It's great to see you join in, too. Who's doing all the walking? <laughs> I hope you people are counting all these numbers coming up the road. They're still coming up round past the bottom end down by Westpac Stadium there, the old cake tin. What a marvellous turnout. I thank you all for turning up. Great effort. Good police escort coming up the road. Once again, everybody's well behaved again. Abs absolutely beautiful. We're going to stop this drop. Stop the jump. Jacinda, stop dumping in our water. Yeah, the well spread out, still coming around from the other end of the cake tin. Exceptional turnout. Marvellous. That's Neville. Neville said, brother. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah, it's all right. You can see that around, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All bone broke. No hunting, no fishing, nothing. Yeah, no actually, diving, yeah, nothing. Yeah, he's, a, he's a chap going to have a few words to say, yes? All i got to say is 10 years, 15, 20 years from now, all gone. All gone. Do something. Do something. Do yeah, something. Yeah, too right, mate. Yeah, they're killing it all. It's time you people woke up. 
I've got 280, I'll turn the page. Yep. I'll run that, so, yeah. Okay. Well, I just won't probably go on for a few days, because I'm going to stop here. Um, yeah, the storm. Yeah, and they come and they're still coming, so you politicians better bloody listen up. Particularly you, Winston, you're the ones that says you were going to put bloody hope to the drops. Come on, front up. Be a man, not a fucking mouse. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm Neville here from Merch and I've been fighting this 1080 battle for a bloody number of years now. And I'm really proud to be supporting this heat boy. Guys from all around New Zealand, we're all joining in together, we're all united. And you politicians and Jacinda and bloody the Greens, I don't know what's in your bloody head. You better start listening to the people. Because if you don't front up and don't start talking to the people soon, I can see things getting ugly. And we don't want that. We want things peaceful. But you better front up, because we're doing our best. So you, you bloody want to talk too. And stop poisoning our water. Yes, mate. Good luck. enough people here to fill that bloody stadium behind us. While I'm at it, go to the All Blacks tonight too. And if any of you Pumas ever get to see this, I hope you can turn your big cats to see if they can eat some of those dock. Then they'll know what predators are. So yeah, I'm going to cross the road shortly as the tail end is just coming up now. So I'll go and have a word. I'd like to have a few words with Mr Policeman to make sure the crowd's been behaving. So I'll try and get them in there too. So have the crowd been behaving so far, do you think? Yeah, you're not allowed to speak up? No? What do you think of 1080? You're not allowed, not allowed to speak at all? Nah, uh, most policemen are friendly around New Zealand, but some in Wellington aren't. Here we are, Ekoi! Ekoi of the Poison Nation outside the Wellington Railway Station. I hope you people that are going to watch this video can count all the people that are attending. So, Man 1080! Man 1080! Go the heat boys! Man the heat boys! Man United! Man United! Great effort! Blow your horn, mate! Give that horn a blow! Good on ya! Yeah, give us another roar! Give us another roar! Bloody marvellous! Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got a big 20 pointer over here somewhere. We'll get the bugger. 20 pointer gold red and stag. Yes. Man's in 80, save the rats. Good on you. White one here. Hey! My man! Can't whistle. The teeth are out. United we stand! Yeah, United we fall! Yeah, that's the way! Put all your signs round, is it up? Yeah, come on! Pull it out a bit tighter, your arms are getting weak. Come on, that's better! Hey. And United! United we stand! Power to the people! Power yeah, power to the people! To the people. Just send up! Have a look at this lot! They, they're coming for you! You're poisoning their water! Poison we fall! Beep, 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 beep! Yeah, join the movement! Join the movement! Good on you! Power to the people! Band 1080! Oh, oh yeah! Band 1080! Go for it! Marvellous! Bloody marvellous! I've counted five 
Yeah, it's on the 21 of your sofa, and it's X plus 1. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Yeah. 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 Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah
And no one's ever had a chance to be able to get it all together and be one, yeah. be united. And the hickory of Alan Gurd and the Nemo Leaf have made that happen. Yeah. And I love them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now we're here as one. And the government can see that we don't stand alone. You don't stand alone. There's all the people in the country through the hickory that gave us support. It was 90% support over the whole country of people driving past and giving beats to these people. The Koha was amazing. The people that we've met, unbelievable. The whanau, the whakapapa, the whole lot of them. It was absolutely amazing. The police come to my house, they arrest me for trying to take pallets out of me. Water yeah. supply. Yeah, I'm not looking for it. That's our government man. They have to stop this shit. They do. They've got to stop it. We can't have this anymore. We've got to stop. We've got to look after our country. We've got to look after our whenua. We've got to look after our whanau. We've, We've, We've got to look after that. So, so guys, thank you very much. I love you. To all those people who have travelled such a distance to come here today, thank you one and all. To all those people who have pioneered this campaign to bring some common sense to the subject of not putting into pregnant women's water a poison whose own label states may damage fertility and the unborn child. Yeah. Some of the people that have helped get that message out in the most modern way are here today. This is Mr. Kai Graff. Yeah. stop it. I'm just going to take two minutes to spend one minute on each of those points. We hear a lot of talk about the New World Order. I'm not interested in the New World Order. The reason 10 AT is happening in New Zealand is because of the old 
boys order. This has been going on since 1954. And the reason it keeps persisting is because they just keep doing it. We do not, when we take our attention and focus on overseas influences, we're taking our eye off the ball in our own raw head. Yeah, yeah. That's in yeah. our own area. So how are we going to stop it? There used to be three ways. Needed district council consent. It needed regional council consent. It needed health ministry consent. Simon Upton in 1997 took away the right of the district council and the requirement for them to give consent. Nick Smith in April last year took away the regional consent so you couldn't appeal for your Kathy White. The only consent that is required now is called a, with a capital P, a permission. So what do I invite anyone interested in being effective against the planned aerial poisoning of the water catchments, there is only one document they are working under. It's a long-winded title. It is the Guidelines for Issuing Vertebrate Toxic Agent Permissions, VTA for short. So if when you get a chance and you get home, Google Health Ministry VTA permissions. Now that give, tells you your rights to demand an alternative water supply and it also sets out the two ways left that you can appeal against those permissions. We all hate paperwork but please, the permissions for issuing vertebrate toxic agents, that's the rules they're working under. And as any of the footy and netball players know, you want to win the game, you've got to know the rules. So take the time to familiarise that. Folks, thank you for your time today. And above all, thank you, Emile Leaf and Alan Gurdon yeah. for having the courage and the commitment to walk the court. Yeah. This fellow here beside me is Dr. Charlie Braycroft. Oh, Hello, thanks for the opportunity to say something. I, I'm pretty humble about this because I'm a relative newcomer and I just was skeptical at first and I thought, what are these loonies on? No, the government wouldn't do something this dangerous. They wouldn't put it on the Okay. Yeah, brother. When I got involved in this, I started get, I started looking at it, and I was skeptical. And I thought, what are these lunatics on about? These anti ten eighty people. The government wouldn't poison our water. The government wouldn't poison our forests. They're looking after us. We pay them a lot of money to look after us. They're they're such wonderful people. And then I started trying to say, well, let me have a look. Well, yeah. Oh, jeez, these people, these movies are right. You're one of us now. Hiding, the says, Don't have it anywhere. And then I went, no other countries allow this. Why? And I went and looked at the official website and said, because they don't have any mammals in their country that they're worried about. And then I looked up mammals. Uh -huh. I'm old and I forget things. We are mammals! Yeah. We are we mammals! Are mammals. <laughs> the government says there are no mammals in this country that they're worried about poisoning because all the mammals that they're poisoning are bad. Or oh, the bats maybe and maybe a couple of seals. We are mammals! Yeah. They're poisoning mammals. And when the reason no other country doesn't want to use 1080, the reason other countries don't use 1080 is because they don't want to poison the mammals like us. Not because they don't want to poison some other animals. It's because they care about their people. They care about their people and our government has forgotten us. So let me tell you a few things. Now, I'm not a licensed doctor anymore because I got sick of the medical system because you know why? It wouldn't let me do what I needed to do for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I want to tell you what I've learned about this and here's the simple thing.
big thank you to Emil and Alan for making this all possible because I don't think we'd all be here today if it wasn't for them. Yeah. Yeah. I'd just like to tell you that I, I am, am fighting to get rid of 1080 for a number of reasons. One is actually the animal cruelty. I can't believe that we can accept something so cruel. I also don't believe that we can accept something that kills so many more animals than the targets. Yep. It makes no sense to me. And, and I'm determined that whatever we do, if we have to kill animals, it will be as humanely as possible yep. and as targeted as possible. I also want to say... You can do more that trap. you have the right to, to say what happens on your land. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe that down in Takanu, where they want an organic Takanu, where 23 Hapu said that they supported an organic initiative on their rohe, that within four days, Osprey dropped poison yeah. all over it. So, I would just like to say that I think you have the right to determine your own future. If you want an organic Takanu or an organic anywhere, you should have the right to determine what happens in your community because there is more than one way of doing pest control. Yeah. Yeah. And I would also like to say to you that we shouldn't have to actually kill every single pest in New Zealand. Exactly. There, when you actually use something as extreme as 1080, you disrupt the whole ecosystem and you actually cause a lot of unintended consequences for your wildlife, including increased predation on birds. And I just feel that this is so wrong, so wrong that we do things that actually cause our wildlife to suffer unnecessarily. So look, I just want to thank you all for being here. I also would like to give a shout out to the Grass Boys because yeah. 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 documentary, The Shadow of Doubt and Poisoning Paradise, none of us here would know about those adverse effects. Because right. nobody tells us about the adverse effects when they come to do consultation. And I want you to fight. fight. Um, when people come to your land, I want you to ask those questions. And I want you to ask them whether they will drop in the water at your place. All around you, because they do. I'm a regional councillor. I've seen the, the resource consents that used to be issued. I know they were to drop onto land and into water. We don't have those resource consents now. As someone pointed out, all we have is one permission document and actually they are allowed to drop in water. It's really important that you all know that because people aren't very transparent about it. Anyway, thank you all for coming. Uh, Great Barrier Island, ART, is that right? Happy. Nice. Hey. Thank you. Oh, no. I just want to let you know there's a group of us here from ART, Great Barrier Island. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So my name is Kate Deavey, C A I T D E V E Y at gmail.com. Please email me if you want to contact me. There's somehow form a national coalition could get to clean us off because we're isolated little groups. Um, what an overwhelming feeling this is. I'm from a small place in Kaio, and we stopped the job. No my heart of my trim. Be here quick.
Well, God, thank you very much, fella. I'm Branch of Bat 1080. Yeah! yeah. I'm sure I won't be the last time. Uh, somebody's offered to play us a little bit of music. Alrighty. So I've consulted my uh, my phone. Oh, you want to? Did you? You want to have a little talk before the music? Yeah. Last one before the music. You know how to keep it. Go on the bloody boy. I'm trying to teach these young guys to suck eggs. Go on the bloody boy. Take the batteries out, Jim. I've got a bonnet. Hey! 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 All the positivity, everything in this bloody uh, page, work it. Absolutely uh, work it. So yeah, now we take our hats off to you. Alan, mean, mean, you're a top man, mate. Oh, you boys. Yeah. Uh, you you're bloody awesome. Where are you? I want to meet you. Uh, you're coming up. Oh, well, we've got to finish the walk first, bro. Sweet, sweet, mate. So yeah, hey, too much, boys, and you. Appreciate it, eh? Here's Dr. Charlie's going to play us a tune. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, well now let's get together and feel alright Like it was in the beginning, what shall it be in the end? Oh yeah, oh, give thanks and praise to the Lord and I will feel alright Oh let's get together and Feel alright. I'll tell you, one long cloud from the one long cloud together. Two to the fuck of me like our Tina. Tina. Holy. Die. Silence. Do you got 
Loreda. Hikoi on its return back to Parliament again. Um, I've just been to the Civic Square. Makes a grand sight with them coming up the road, that's for real. Go back to Wednesday either, so that's good. I'll come and have a chat for you when you. We have the uh, police searching the grounds and running a dog over it. Don't know what they look. They're lifting up gutters. They're doing all sorts. So whether they think there's 1080 there or what, I don't know. But the silly bastards have got a dog trying to sniff for stuff. So that's a no-no for starters. So uh, yeah, the, the Chinese delegation's meant to be turning up. So uh, yeah, I don't know. That little exercise is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten cops plus security and the dog. So that little exercise costs a hell of a lot just to protect a little patch of grass at Parliament. But they won't protect their own citizens in New Zealand. Here we are down at Lyle Bay, waiting for them all to come along. Now, have a look at this. Have a look at this lot. They'll be really enjoying this. They found themselves a merry-go-round. Look at that, they're on the merry-go-round. <laughs>
happy with the steam well. I've been given mandate by many of those happy already. Speak as quite yucky when you did any. If you need explanation of what that is, I've been given permission to speak as the guardian of this land. I will seek further mandate to speak as representative for all hapu of this whenua. At this stage, all actions that we've taken to try and converse with the treaty partner have been blocked. Initially we were going to speak with Jacinda Ardern. I soon lost interest in speaking with her when she made a statement regarding tools in the toolbox. 1080 being one of them. Subsequent to that, I decided to make arrangements to speak with the Governor General. It appears at this stage, although initially acknowledgement was made that a date would be set for that to occur, there's been interference made. So now the access to be able to speak to that person who represents Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II person of England has been cut off. The only course of action at this present time is to try to make direct contact with Buckingham Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty. She is the treaty partner. There has been word that she is aware that there is a bit of unsettled action going on in her realm. We'll make it quite clear now that although every peaceful means will be tried and exercised to end the use of this hideous poison, which destroys our ability to interact with our tail, our environment, we are unable to use our rongoa, our medicine. We are unable to access kai. We are unable to just walk in our ngahe with our tamariki. We are unable to take our kuri with us when we walk without having them on chains all the time. They are no longer able to run free. We are no longer able to use our taonga in the ngahiri for raranga and for kairo, for weaving and for carving. And one of the most <coughs> sad things is we are unable to drink by Māori, the fresh water of our forests. I know that when I was young, you could drink from nearly any stream. You could swim in nearly any river. That's not the case today. The reason for this is that we've been taken over by corporations. We seek to redress these problems with Her Majesty and we seek a peaceful resolution at all times. But let it be known quite clear, the natives are restless. And if this action and ignorance of these people continues, the appropriate response will ensue. Namahi, kia ora. Unpoisoned drinking water from us, all New Zealanders, our water has been poisoned. They have taken my right and your right to gather kai from the land. And worst of all, they have taken our right to protect our children from harm. We will hand to our children a poisoned legacy. If we stand by any longer, our children won't have children to hand on a poisoned legacy. These people have no honour. They have nothing but contempt for us, me and you, my brothers and sisters. They have displayed that. They have arrogantly displayed that. So it's game on people, but 100% peaceful. This has been our mission right from the start. But like my friend said, my brother Emil, 
if they continue in this course of action, if they continue with their arrogance, we will not be responsible for what will happen. That is on.